Hi, Micropunter here. I ordered myself uh, this uh, new stereo microscope and in this video I want to simply do a little bit of unpacking and I want to show it to you. That's all. I ordered the microscope uh, from Amazon um, and uh, it uh, took around two weeks uh, for the microscope to arrive and then I figured out why. Because it was drop shipped from China. So from China they sent it to the UK and then they sent it uh, to the place where I live in Europe. Um, and uh, this is actually the reason why it took that long. I opened the box and uh, yeah, uh, looked everything looked quite nice. There was some styrofoam uh, padding material in here. There were two smaller boxes. In the larger box I opened uh, this one here and I saw, wow, there are some instruction manuals and I was very happy because the instruction manuals looked quite uh, decent. Uh, the English was more or less uh, quite okay. Um, there were several uh, variations of the microscope in there but not mine because I did not have a base uh, with a lamp. Uh, mine looked a little bit different so I was a little bit worried. Did they send me the right microscope or not? But in any case you can see that uh, the manual is, is quite uh, quite complete. Uh, it's uh, only in English uh, but that's, that's fine. So I started to take out uh, one of the other boxes hoping that they sent me the right model of microscope. And again I opened it. There was again another a styrofoam a box uh, in this one here unpacking it took some yeah it took some time yeah that's that's basically that's the correct one I was very relieved um, and uh, so for this reason I um, yeah then opened the other one now slightly differently and here this is now the main part uh, of the microscope um, it is a zoom stereo microscope uh, and as a matter of fact the same model is sold by several different uh, brands so this one in specifically is, is an Amscope one but uh, Swift for example also sells it I've uh, seen an Italian company Optica also sell the same microscope so there are not that many zoom uh, stereo microscopes around uh, and uh, apparently this company in China that manufactures this um, evidently sends it um, yeah uh, yeah delivers a whole range of different uh, um, different other companies so here these are the eyepieces and now why did I choose uh, this one um, this was the only one uh, the only model that actually had this uh, particular base which I wanted um, the reason is I want to have a lot of space uh, because I'm going to use an external light source anyway so back at home I unpacked everything again and of course I had to assemble everything and uh, everything was wrapped in plastic. I'm a little bit critical of that uh, because yeah I'm for the reduction of plastic um, but in any case uh, you can see it's a new microscope uh, and that is also quite quite good here. Um, uh, three screws and also a small wrench uh, so the tool was also supplied and then I started uh, assembling the how, I don't know how do you call this the vertical boom maybe is this the, the thing that you call it yeah that's the wrench that was supplied with it I put in the screws the three screws and everything was fine. Now the thing is that uh, I had some problems actually uh, yeah not not putting it together but finding spare parts for this microscope because the different microscope companies that uh, yeah drop ship them um, sometimes only drop ship the complete microscope uh, but it's difficult to obtain spare parts because as you've seen before in the instruction manual it's uh, quite modular the microscope and you can um, fit it together any way you want so what I've done is, is I went to uh, actually AliExpress and, and, and Banggood.com and all those Chinese uh, retailers and uh, I as a matter of fact tried to find some of the uh, spare parts specifically camera adapters and all of these things yeah so that is um, <clears throat> how I mounted this now why Amscope? Not, no specific reason it's only that uh, this the German uh, the German Amazon I have to say of Amscope they actually had the microscope um, significantly cheaper than the US uh, um, uh, version I don't know why this is um, but uh, um, it was actually quite quite a bit cheaper um, and it not only came with eyepieces but also with so-called Barlow lenses so I can get a maximum magnification of around 90 times so but I expect maybe that the, the company are probably going to probably going to change the offers uh, depending on on demand you simply drop in the yeah the eyepieces. This is basically where the camera um, attachment, the trinocular, yeah, the photo tube is attached, um, and there is now I'm looking for a an adapter so that I can mount my digital reflex camera. As a matter of fact, I found one. I'm, I'm going to use my Olympus one. It actually fits. Uh, it does work. I can use yeah. And there's a dust cover also provided, of course. Yeah. So in that sense, um, I'm I'm quite satisfied uh, with the whole thing. There is this is uh, yeah can be turned around depending on which kind of. Uh, yeah, contrast you want to have. I mean, if you background, not contrast. Um, I removed the clips later on. I don't need them to hold it in. Uh, yeah, and that is the zoom function. Okay, so um, and this one here, this lever, um, kind of redirects the left eyepiece light to the camera. 
So uh, when I use the camera, um, I only can use the right eyepiece. Yeah? So this is, yeah, it's a question of taste. I would have solved this differently, I have to admit. Um, so right now, um, it's, that's just the way it is. And also the distance here is uh, important for adjusting the focus so that the focus uh, through the eyepiece is the same as the focus on the camera. It does not change the magnification so much, I found out, at least with the system I used. There are two Barlow lenses. One of them uh, magnifies uh, two times, so I get a maximum of 90 times, and the other one half uh, a time. And this one actually really greatly increases the distance and, and um, also uh, between the, the lens and the, the object and also gives me a much significantly wi wider field of view. So one disadvantage that the microscope has is, is that uh, unless you plug in one of those Barlow lenses, it's conical, the bottom part is conical, and therefore I cannot directly um, uh, attach a, a ring light because it simply won't hold. Yeah, that is the zoom function again. Yeah. By the way, if you're interested in this uh, microscope, I put two links uh, down, uh, down in, in the description and also um, I also put a link to my, my web shop where, um, to, uh, where I have a, a lot of uh, Swift microscopes uh, which basically are uh, where they sell the same, uh, the same thing. Uh, maybe with a different base and a different configuration, but essentially the, uh, the microscope is the same. Yeah, this is a security thing so that it doesn't drop down um, all, the, all the way. Yeah. So yeah, I was generally quite satisfied considering the fact that I only paid around 400 euros for the whole thing and the list price in um, in other uh, yeah in, in online is around 600 euros and that is the zoom now again and you can actually see how this is actually um, how the optics are moving yeah and so um, I don't know what the pro I don't know the price politics yet it's a security thing so that means uh, that I don't accidentally when I loosen the screw that it doesn't drop down the whole thing yeah so in, in that sense, I'm, I'm quite happy with the microscope. Um, what the first thing I tried to do is, is I tried to connect uh, my own pocket camera um, to the photo tube um, using so-called afocal photography. Um, and how does this work? Um, all I did is, no, not the, not the pocket camera, first the digital um, yeah, USB camera. Later on, I'll show you the pocket camera. Yeah, it's a little yeah, ammonite. A fossil and uh, you can directly transfer the image. The problem with the camera is it's USB 2.0 that means I don't uh, capture, I cannot capture any fluid video um, yeah, because it's simply too slow. Not the fault of the microscope of course but uh, my slow camera is, is to blame for that and that for this reason I, I decided then to directly connect a pocket camera and then later on I'm gonna get the, um, when I had the adapter I'm also gonna connect my, connect my reflex camera simply because I want to do um, HD videos also for this YouTube channel. Yeah, so that's the pocket camera that I connected I had I bought a separate um, yeah microscope um, adapter here and I attached of course also an eyepiece a 10 times magnifying eyepiece it works reasonably well um, I'm using a desk lamp here the reason why I don't uh, get got the microscope without any built-in lamp is because with a desk lamp I simply have a little bit more flexibility and now you can see this is where I mounted my Olympus my Olympus adapter, but I think it's a little bit bulky, so I ordered a new one. Yeah, that's uh, this one I just um, accidentally found in my room, to flying around, so I put it directly under the microscope as a first uh, yeah test. Uh, this is the lowest magnification, by the way. It also shows you a little bit of something about the depth of field and on the on the wings of the insect of the ladybird, uh, ladybird, um, ladybug. Um, you actually see also the ring light of the um, of the lamp. Now it's cleaning itself. I was playing around a little bit here with the focus and with a lamp and, and all of these things and it's uh, quite okay um, I'm, I'm quite happy with the microscope and i think uh, that i i hope that at least this youtube channel also kind of uh, motivates other people also to consider stereo stereo microscopy a little bit more because yeah it's it's also it opens a different uh, world um, yeah it's the head it's been cleaning itself. It's been rubbing its legs together. I'll show you in a second. And the reason is because there was some dust or some dirt uh, caught in the leg of, of the of the bug, and it tried to get it off. Uh, don't worry. Later on, I released uh, <laughs> recently released it again <laughs> outside uh, um, out, outside outside the window. So it didn't do anything bad with it. Don't worry about that. Uh, so uh, the the thing that I just want to say is is um, that uh, that was was one of the reasons why I chose this one is is because it was reasonably low cost. Um, it had a um, a photo tube uh, connected to it and it had a zoom function. Now I already made another video which said that, that most uh, uh, compound microscopes don't, don't have a zoom. That's correct. Direct, but for stereo microscopes that's okay because we're not yet uh, going towards the resolution limit so much yeah so in any case that's it okay that's it I hope you liked it leave your comments what your thoughts are and uh, happy micro hunting everyone and see you around next time bye bye